Hey, what's up guys? Justin Seeley here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today is a Tech Tip Tuesday, I guess you could say, where I'm gonna be showing you a cool little thing that I've learned how to do, which is adding your Apple Music subscription to your Amazon Echo device. Now, if you're not sure what an Amazon Echo is, it's one of those little tall or short speaker devices that lives in your house that uh, contains a little lady named Alexa. I can't say it too loud, otherwise it'll trip up your guys' thing if you got one at home. So um, if you do have an Alexa device, then that's exactly what I'm talking about. I got mine powering up here in the background. I'm getting ready to test this out, but I wanted to show you exactly how to enable this service on your device. It is really super simple. It does take a couple of different steps though, so just pay attention and I'll show you exactly how it's done. So from here inside the Alexa app, what you're gonna do is go over to your little menu on the left. You're gonna go down to settings. And inside of settings, there is this little section here called music. And on the music tab, you're gonna see the ones you already have enabled, which in this case, you know, I've got like Amazon Music, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and TuneIn, which is already set up. In order to get a new piece of music, in there, I'm gonna click that plus sign right there, and I will choose Apple Music. Now, once I do that, I have to enable the Alexa skill in order to do that. So I'll tap on enable to use, and then it's gonna to go to apple.com, and it's gonna ask me to authenticate with my Apple ID. And so I will go ahead and do that. And I'm not gonna show this part, obviously, because it's gonna show my username and my password and the whole jazz. So uh, we're just gonna pretend like you're watching me go through. It's basically just a login. If you've never logged in through Apple ID before, then you don't know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> uh, you probably should, it's, it's pretty easy. So let me do my uh, two-factor authentication here. And once it is authorized, you will see here that it is going to have access to your data. And I'll just go ahead and allow that. And once it does that, it will tell you, hey, Apple Music has been successfully linked to your account. So you just go ahead and hit done. And now when you have added that in, it's going to give you the option straight out of the gate. If you would like to choose a default music service, you can say not now, or you can say, yeah, visit my music settings. And on my visit music settings, I can choose Apple Music as my default. So if you're a big Apple Music user, as I am, this is a huge deal for you. And then of course, we can also use the default station for radio as well. So I'm gonna set that as Apple Music as well. And then I'll go back to my Alexa services here. And you can see Apple Music is listed. And underneath my account settings, my default services is set to Apple Music. And now, if I happen to say something like, hmm, let's see, Alexa, play something festive. Playing party and music from Apple Music. Alexa, <laughs> stop. And there we go. That's how you enable Apple Music on your Amazon Echo devices. If you like this video, guys, go ahead and hit the like button right now. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the little ring ding button so that you get notifications each time I post a video. I'm trying to do at least one per week, sometimes more. Tutorials, tech tips, and also career advice for creative professionals. That's what this channel is all about. So I thank you for watching. I wish you a safe, happy, and amazing holiday with you and your families. And I'll see you again real soon.